this is by far my favorite wheeled vehicle I've made so far. It's fast, does a bunch of damage, and it's just fun to drive. Just don't drive it in a lightning storm. Or into a barrel. Okay. Hello. I wanted to put together a tutorial on how to build a motorbike I designed. This bike uses small wheels and small wooden wheels, as well as with stabilizers, to be able to drive up hills. We're going to start with two of these small wooden wheels that you can find outside most towns. I'm here at Lookout Landing. I'm going to grab one of the stakes and put it in the ground. This acts as an anchor so things won't tip over. Put that in the ground and bring it down to your wooden lower. Take one of the small wooden wheels, put it on top of the small wheel. Make, make sure it doesn't pull down like that. It's pulled up, so now I can't reach, so put it down. This on top, like the dude. Take the second small wheel and put it in front. I actually should have grabbed three small wheels. Let's grab a stabilizer. The green face look at you. And connect to the axle of the wooden wheel. It should spin and tip over like that. The idea is that the stabilizer will pull up, pulling those wheels level with the stabilizer. So wherever the stabilizer is, the wheels will be. So that he Wheels will think that flat ground, that a hill is flat ground, and will always drive up it. Let's take one of the stakes, stick the pointy end in between. This is stabilizers in my way. Stick the pointy end in between two two small wheels, like so. Grab one of the other small wheels. And the third one. And put it right like that. Grabbing the small wheel. Small wooden wheel. Putting that on top of the other small wheel. The green face look at you. Connect to the axle of the small wooden wheel. Put the steering stick on the side. And the wheel should break that steering that sta uh the the wheel should break that stake, so we should just be able to go. Now this thing will go up hills. Like I said, the stabilizer counterbalances the small wheel, pulls it up, and always keeps it level. Now if you want to have real fun with it... You can do something like this. Use auto build. Use auto build to build two metal spikes. If you don't know where the metal spikes are, I have a video on the location. Put them at a 45 degree angle and connect right in the center of the metal spike. The small wheel. Grab the other part of the metal spike and shake, it'll break. Anything that you auto build, a piece that can, is connected will stay, but if you grab a piece that is not connected, it will break. So if I were to grab the connected piece and shake it, it would break. That's what I meant to say. If you want to break an auto build, but only one piece, you would grab something like that. 
if you grab that, it'll break all of it. But if, as long as a piece is connected, something that you grab that's not, the chain won't be broken because that piece is connected to something else. Oh yeah, I didn't shake that off. Let's try this one. Now you've got a roaming spike machine. That will mow down anything, like so. And I should be able to drive up that hill right there. It slowed me down because of the spikes, but... Small hills like this are no problem. You can almost get a little bit of a drift. Now, if you're feeling really fun, you really want to have fun with this. Take a shock emitter. Stick it right on the front here. On metal, metal spikes. And you've got an electrocuted metal spike. Yeah, I probably shouldn't drive through ruins like this, but it's small enough that you can maneuver. And having the wheels stabilize themselves makes it insanely easy to drive. Without the shock emitter, it won't pull too much power. But because I put the shock emitter, it's pulling way too much. But if you have more charges or if you dump, dump some batteries on, it'll be fine. You can also very easily add weapons to the front of this with construct heads and have lasers or cannons or whatever you want. But if you're just looking for a vehicle that'll cruise... Ah, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to cut the grass. I also wanted to say thank you for all the recent subscribers and comments and likes on every, all the videos I've been doing. The response to all the videos have been awesome and I can't thank you all enough. I will continue to be making more of these device videos. If there's anything you want to see, comment down below and I will be happy to make tutorials on how to make things. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.